My name is Deborah, and I live with my mother, Betty, <laughs> in, uh, outside of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My name is Betty, and I've voted in every major election since the 50s. Well, we knew the election was coming up, the primary election. Yeah. And we said, well, we be we heard that there was this, um, there was a, a requirement now, a new requirement to have right. a photo ID. Yeah. So we thought, well, let's go run and grab your photo ID Which real quick. Which we thought would be very simple. <laughs> we thought would be very simple, uh, exactly. Oh, the birth certificate yeah, was the real issue. That was the issue. Because right. I didn't have one. Never did. did. This tells us in order to file for her to have a birth certificate, then these are the documents that we had to begin to search for to prove that she is who she said she was. So this is the... And part of that was obtaining her original voter registration uh, dates back to 1956. And that's documented here. It wasn't something we could get easily. It required people to go into boxes. So we had to go and uh, try to find your records from Tennessee. Parents, we had to be able to prove who your mom and dad were and get there. So it took us quite a while, several months. And a lot of money. We were so angry, weren't we? I mean, frustrated. I mean, mad. Yeah, we were very mad. <laughs> very mad because you got, we knew what this was all about. Yeah. This was intentional efforts on the part of people who have money and means that, it was. to, to, that to was do true. whatever they could do to suppress mm -hmm. this vote. Uh, that was the motivation that caused us it, to say, yeah, to be so diligent. <laughs> that's right. No way were we going to be helping. No way. Oh. And how involved you were in the civil rights movement. Carl Stoke was going to be elected. And we were going to make sure of that he's the first black mayor of a major city. Okay. In Cleveland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And by the way, he did win. I was so proud of my Afro. I know you <laughs> Yeah. But you instilled in us a, a desire because oh. you sacrificed for us in your generation. Yeah. And that made me determine that it was my turn to give you, back to you. You had to. I had to do it. And so the idea that right now in 2012, we're fighting for some of the same things you were working for back in the 60s. And that's a travesty mm -hmm. in our country. And that's just, it's not yeah. acceptable. You take advantage of every opportunity you can to vote and vote, but making sure to understand why you're voting, mm -hmm. you know? A fight was fought and won for people of our country, for all people of our country, to be able to cast this vote. So our message is, get out and vote. Yeah. Take advantage of the right and the privilege and do your part. No matter what, against any odds, November 6th, I am voting. <laughs>